real live Triceratops. I can't believe what I'm looking at. And the cool thing about these guys is where the horns come out and where the frill is at the back of their head is the exact same bones that those structures came out of on a Triceratops, but they're not even remotely related. So really cool that they have both of them. So why do they have these horns and these frills at the back? And it turns out in these guys, the horns are for trying to flip other Jackson's chameleons. Whoa, Whoa flip, look at that. <laughs> the frill actually gives space for muscle attachment. And if you look at the frill, a larger frill of a veiled chameleon, you actually see that it has a hole in the middle. And if you look through holes in a skull across all vertebrates, you find that normally those um, fenestra are for muscle to fill the space. And so these big frills and triceratops, you actually see that a lot of them are hollow and that they have a hole in the middle. And so we think maybe this could be due to muscle attachment. Amazingly cool. And there is a triceratops that still lives.